Greetings in the name of Christ. My name is Greg Garris. I'm one of the pastors here at St. Philip Presbyterian Church in Hearst, Texas. Two readings today. First comes from the prophet Isaiah. It's the ninth chapter. It's verses two through the first part of verse three. Listen for God's word. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest. And then a second passage from Luke's Gospel, chapter 2. It's the second part of verse 10 through verse 12. Again, listen for God's word. I am bringing you good news of a great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. An angel said, to the shepherds, it's coming. Christ's birth, Christmas. For us, we know there's no stopping it. It will come, the day when we celebrate Jesus' birth. There are some who think that when Christmas Day has come, that it is a relief. Finally, we get just to open the presents and enjoy. No more rushing, no more shopping. But Christmas, as you know, brings with it something more. It is a constant point, a point from which everything else is measured in life. Al Cadenhead Jr. writes about this in his book of daily devotionals. And he tells a story about writer Lloyd Douglas, who took violin lessons from an old man. And one day Douglas asked him, well, what's the good news today? Well, putting down this violin, the man stepped over to a tuning fork suspended from a silver cord, struck it with a sharp blow with his padded mallet fork and said, that's the good news for today. That, my friend, the old violin teacher said, is the note A. It will be A all day yesterday. It will be A all day tomorrow. And it will be A for a thousand years. The man continued, the soprano upstairs wobbles off key. The tenor next door flats his high notes and the piano across the hall is out of tune. Noise all around me, noise. But that, my friend, is A. Caden Head reminds us that Christmas is a constant, something that we can count on. The constant is so much more than just a day on the calendar. It is a historical fact that on a night long ago, God sounded a note whose voice would be heard for eternity and would provide not only sound, but light to a dark world. God initiated an act of love that would ultimately prove that love always has the last word. It is the constant, and you and I can count on it. For unto us a child is born, and he will bring with his birth good news of a great joy, not just this year, but forevermore. And for that, I say thanks be to God, and I invite you to pray. Holy God, may this Christmas that we celebrate in a few days remind us of the constant love and light that you give to us. Remind us that it is a constant point that we can count on always of how you and your son came to us through that baby born in Bethlehem. We pray in his name. Amen. Merry Christmas and blessings and peace. Thank you.